This is the YEC 2021 physics practical question number one prediction. You can pause this video right now and take a good look at the question. Meanwhile, I want to let you know that YEC can decide to tweak or change some things concerning how the question might come out. But if you can be able to perform this practical the way I will show you, you have no problem. All right. Okay, let's move ahead. This is educational world. All right. For this practical, we are given several apparatus to work with. Okay. We two retro stands. Okay. We also have two meter rules. We have set of masses. 10 grams 220 grams and 250 grams that's my stopwatch okay that's cello tape that's weigh balance weigh scale that's the ropes two ropes that's the split cocks okay i've already mounted them the way they are supposed to be All right so straight away we'll be going right into the experiment stay tuned all right the question suggests that we must have measured and recorded the mass of the meter rule so this is my weighing balance and i have weighed the mass of the meter rule and it is giving me 110 grams as you can see The next step to follow is to attach a mass of 100 gram at the center of gravity of the meter rule. Now note that the center of gravity of the meter rule is at the 50 cm mark. Okay, so I'm attaching the mass of 100 grams to the center of gravity of the meter rule. And it will remain there throughout the experiment. And with the help of a cello tape, I will guide it firmly into position. All right, so the next thing to do now is to hold the ends of the meter rule with the help of a thread. And the distance from the ends of the meter rule should be 10 cm. So the threads will be attached to the ends of the meter rule at exactly 10 cm from each end. All right? Reconfirming the length, the initial length of the thread, which is 40 cm. The first practical will be performed with the length of 40 cm. So I have reconfirmed that the length is 40 cm. So the next thing to do now is to put the system into oscillation, 20 oscillations. Okay, we will deflect the rule at one end slightly. Okay. And allow it to oscillate. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right. So for the first one, for twenty oscillations, the time taken is thirteen point four seconds. All right so performing the practical again for confirmation we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and twenty and after that the, the time taken for that oscillation to occur is thirteen point three zero seconds okay so we keep record of that 
all right so we'll now go straight to our table of values and compute the rest okay so we are going to look for the average time the period and the square of the period for the table of values when the length of the thread is 40 cm the first time checking for the oscillation is 13.4 seconds the second time was 13.3 seconds the average of the time is 13.35 seconds and to get the period the period will be gotten by dividing the time average by 20 oscillations and when we do that we have 0 0.668 seconds and the square of the period will now be 0 0.446 seconds square adjusting the length of the rope to 50 centimeters all right so that's what i'm doing now i'm adjusting the length of the thread to 650 cm while maintaining the distance of 10 cm from the two ends of the ruler okay then after that we're also going to perform another 20 oscillations and record the time for the 20 oscillations to occur okay okay now we are going to displace the system again and allow it to oscillate about an axis towards the center of gravity so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty all right so after 20 oscillations the time taken for 20 oscillations here is 15 seconds so we are going to displace it again slightly One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So we stop the time. So after this twenty oscillations again, the time taken is fourteen point six seconds. So we take record of that. Okay, now we will now go back to our table of values and compute the rest. For the table of values, when the length of the thread is 50 cm, after 20 oscillations, T1 is 15 seconds, T2 is 14.6 seconds, the average is 14.80 seconds, the period is 0 0.74 seconds, and period square is 0 0.548 seconds. Adjusting the length of the thread to 60 cm and maintaining the distance between the ends of the row 1 10 cm each okay so we are going to set the system into oscillation and calculate the time taken for 20 oscillations okay so we are going to displace it slightly and we count 1 2 Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So at the end of that twenty oscillations, we have a value to be sixteen point five six seconds. All right. So we are going to displace it again for the second time. So we have. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And the time taken for that to happen is sixteen point four seconds. When H is 60 cm, 
T1 is 16.56 seconds, T2 is 16.40 seconds, T is 16.48 seconds, the period is 0 0.824 seconds, and the square of the period is 0 0.679 seconds square. Adjusting the length of the thread to 70 cm for both ropes okay and confirming that the length is actually 70 cm while the distance of 10 cm is maintained at from both ends of the meter rule all right so we are going to perform 20 oscillations and record the time taken so we go here One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And after twenty oscillations, we have seventeen point five zero seconds. All right. Okay, so we are going to perform it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So after that, we have seventeen point five zero seconds again. Okay. Table of values when H is seventy cm, T one is seventeen point five zero seconds t2 17.50 seconds t 17.50 period 0 0.875 seconds and square of period 0 0.766 seconds square all right so this is the length of 80 cm already so we'll just go ahead and perform the 20 oscillations and record the time taken so here we go displacing the rule a little bit Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, so we record the time for that, and that time is eighteen point four four seconds. Okay. So we are going to perform it again and take record. So here we go after displacing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. All right, and the time is 18.41 seconds. Now, the table of values when H is 80 cm, T1 is 18.44 seconds, T2 is 18.41 seconds, T is 18.43 seconds, the period is 0 0.921 seconds, and the square of the period is 0 0.850 seconds squared. Right now, we move straight to the graph plotting. Okay, we are going to plot the graph of T square against H. Alright, so the scale to be used here is 2cm to represent 0 0.2 units on the vertical axis. 1cm to represent 10 units on the horizontal axis. I have done a video on how to plot maths and physics graph. So you can get a refer back to that video if you want to know how to choose your scale properly. All right, okay, so we move straight to plotting the points. So when H is 40, T squared is 0 0.446, and we mark out the points. When H is 50, T squared is 0 0.548, we mark out the points. When H is 60, T squared is 0 0.68 approximately, so we mark out that point. When H comes 70, 
T square is 0 0.776, 0 0.766 rather. We mark out the points. And lastly, when H is 80 cm, T square becomes 0 0.85. We mark out the points and we join them with a very straight line, the line of best fit. Okay, that is the graph. You join the line of best fit, the line that will touch virtually all the points, starting from the origin. And after that, we look for the slope. We we'll draw any convenient right angle, triangle of our choice, and read off the values to the axis. Okay, once you've done that, slope is change in the vertical axis divided by change in the horizontal axis. That's change in T square divided by change in H. So taking the two values I have here, I have 0 0.88 minus 0 0.2 for the vertical axis divided by 80 minus 17 from the horizontal axis. All right. So simplifying them, now I have 0 0.68 divided by 63. And my final answer is 0 0.0108 seconds square per cm. Now, the significance of this loop, this is the inverse of the acceleration due to gravity where the meter there is in, in centimeters. You get? All right. So, we are told to evaluate Q, which is equal to 2 divided by 25D squared. Now, the D there is the distance from one thread to the other, and that is 80. So, putting it into that equation there and simplifying, I have Q to be 1.25 times 10 raised to the power minus 5 per cm squared. Alright, so evaluating K, which is slope S divided by Q, I will now substitute the values where necessary. So, I will now have that K is equal to 864 seconds square cm. Don't forget to subscribe like and share this video thank you for watching